Good day, everybody. I hope you all had a thrilling Thursday. My Thursday is was not as exciting as I would have liked for it to have been. Um, tonight at seven o'clock, the first showing of Star Wars uh, for general for the general public. The first showing of Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Um, started and by now lots of people have seen the movie all the way through uh, some people are probably in the middle of it right now I would have loved every, anything in the world to do that uh, but I decided to show some restraint what I wanted to do was well let's just get you guys caught, it's caught up for my day is I worked from 4 to 8 nice short shift I was able to do some holds uh, hold list uh, which is something I enjoy doing, so I'm glad. Uh, it's like, I get the impression that the other clerks aren't as crazy about it, but I'll gladly do it. So, <laughs> something I enjoy enjoyed as as a volunteer, and I'll definitely gladly keep doing it um, and get paid for it, <laughs> um, for sure. And so, if it's something they don't like to do, I'll do it every time I'm there. Um, but usually we don't bother, um, but because of the Friday being closed things pile up and Saturday morning they have more than they normally do on another morning um, so try to make sure so we try to make sure we get as much as we possibly can to be done done on Thursday night before we leave so I was able to finish the holds list with really no time to spare <laughs> I was told hey stop doing it in a few minutes and I'm like well I'm almost done and I went and, they, and I finished literally they came out to say hey stop and I'm like this is the last thing, and I'm done. <laughs> um, left, I went out, did my first bit of um, Christmas shopping, because I got paid today, so um, I'm not poor anymore. Um, so I went out, I went looking, just kind of scouting things out, but I saw something I definitely wanted to get for my friends, for my friends' kids. <laughs> um, so I did. So that was my first, my first, um, my first Christmas presents were for them, uh, and I'll look around a little bit more before. That's what I usually do: look around, decide this is what I want, and then go back and just get everything all at once. And so I'll probably do that. Um, maybe maybe this weekend sometime. Considering um, we're a week away from Christmas, um, since it is after midnight, we are actually officially a week away from Christmas. Uh, Gonna have to get on that, so this weekend would be the best time to do it. I found out that um, holiday hours do count on if the holiday falls on a Friday, because libraries always close on Friday. So I thought maybe it wouldn't count because we would not, we'd be working there anyways. But um, and I was under the impression that was the case, uh, but I was told today that that isn't the case. That it does count towards holiday hours, even though we would be closed. Um, so they had to take me off of. Um, off of one of my days this week and next week as well for New Year's. Um, well, not day that cut my hours back down to four hours. Uh, it was not stretched out to eight because of the because that was a week that I work on a Sunday. And so on. when I work on a Sunday, one of my weekdays has to extend to eight hours to make up for the fact that I'm only working four hours on Saturday versus eight hours on I mean four hours on Sunday as opposed to eight hours on Saturday because we're not open as long on on Sunday. Yeah, so that's what I did, uh, and then I came home. I I really, really wanted to get in the car, drive over to the theater in Altamont, and um, just go up and say, hey, you got any tickets left? And it turns out a friend of mine did just that, not that early, around 11 it looked like. Him and his roommates went out, and he posted this on Facebook, and it was amazing to hear, and it was even more tempting. I... I because this is, this is the guy that I'm actually going to be going to see the movie with on Saturday. And that was one of the reasons why I talked myself down. I'm like, I'm going to see it on Saturday. I'm going to see it on Saturday with these guys. And I don't want to spoil it for them because I'll be excited or whatever. And I'm pretty sure I'll love it and want to see it a second time. Maybe just a couple days later. But <laughs> I'll go ahead and wait. Hold it off so that we're all on the same page. Um, so this guy went with his roommates. And they apparently had an empty theater that wasn't running anything. So they're like, you know what? 
boom, Star Wars there. And so they let him in. And so he's he showed, took a picture and put on Facebook of him sitting in an empty theater. Nothing on the screen or anything, just sitting in an empty theater. And he told his story, and it's pretty cool. And I, half, I halfway was just going to like just head out the door, go straight over there and try to get into that showing. Um, but I have to open Plant Smoothie tomorrow. And so last thing I want to do is go to a movie that starts at 11.30 or midnight and be out until like 3 a.m. Granted, it's guaranteed I wouldn't get any sleep if that was the case. I would just be like rolling over into it. I would be really excited, and so the adrenaline there might be <laughs> enough to um, get me through my shift at the very least, but that means I'd be really tired, and I have a Christmas party tomorrow night to go to. So I once again talked myself down and said, all right, we can just wait. We can just wait until Saturday. So... Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll get get impatient, and maybe when I get off work at two tomorrow, I'll go over to the theater and see if there's anything available for an early showing, and just go to that before. I probably will have to, I'll have to talk myself down because I just I shouldn't do it. I should wait, and yeah, I'm just so excited I can't wait. All right, now um, so I came home, I watched the rest of um, Impact Wrestling which I didn't finish last night because I was really tired. Um, earlier today I watched the NXT TakeOver special on the WWE Network from London, and then after Impact I watched SmackDown, which was on tonight as well. Uh, got all that knocked out. Okay, that's all the wrestling talk. We're done. Uh, now, almost seven minutes in the video, I'm going to get to the probably the thing I'll talk about the most. Maybe not. Maybe Star Wars will be. Uh, tonight was the series finale of a show that I started like six years ago maybe um, and I was kind of like I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not and I watched it and I'm like I like this and so the idea is this show is Haven it's on sci-fi and the idea is that there are these troubles these special abilities that mysteriously people have or disabilities or however you want to look at it special powers to make them so that they can't either they can't feel or they cause earthquakes or electrical things or they can see the future or just different things and they call them troubles because there's always a downside to it it seems and so the show goes on and on there's these little tweaks and turns and everything and the show just evolves it to the point where um, a couple seasons ago they introduced this concept of this all came from another world and there were these um, people that were manipulating these this these powers and giving them to people and and then it was just really complicated and very confusing to follow along and so I'm not going to try to explain it in detail because of that just know that it all make it all comes together and it does make sense um, so today was the series finale and I didn't know which way I was going to go when I was excited I was bummed that it was going to be over. I was excited that they were going to close, that they were going to wrap things up, and I was just hoping it wouldn't go the route of Far Escape or Sliders, <laughs> where they just like, we're done, and we just left you in a mess, and <laughs> that sucks. Um, sliders, he goes off to save his world, and he makes everyone stay behind, and so they stay behind, and they say goodbye, and you're like, did he succeed? Did he save his world? We don't know. Uh, Farscape, where everything's been wrapped up nice and neat, a uh, tight little, nice little ribbon, and he proposes, and then he's out on a rowboat. They land on this water planet. He's out on a rowboat, and he's proposing, and then this these ships come over, and they shoot them, and they turn them into little tiny, like, particles of themselves. Just like, it disintegrates them, but doesn't. And everyone else is just there, and it's like, literally left turn crash into a wall <laughs> and that one had enough backlash to where they set a mini series out to resolve the mess and tie everything up into a nice little bow that truly was a nice little bow at the end um, those fans weren't having anything of it so I was just hoping they wouldn't do that with with Haven I'm like please wrap it all up nice and neat and so they do wrap it all up nice and neat um, I'll say that and it could have been a little nicer, maybe, if something had happened over something else. They didn't really explain why a certain thing couldn't happen, but they let it not happen. 
and then they left us just like hanging in that regard and so it's like um, so what happens in this situation because she's the main character she has to go she has to leave to solve the problem to solve the troubles and take the troubles away she has to go with them and so she does but then you're left with a well she's gone but this other guy uh, the other main character he loves her and he's gonna miss her and all this other stuff and they do like a nice little nod they did this back with um with Eureka the show Eureka which was another show I liked um, they were they referenced back to the first episode by showing something happen and it's like immediately you see it you're like they're gonna do it this is gonna be it this is this is episode one there and sure enough they did <laughs> so they brought the main character back as a different person who can't remember anything and the idea is that they're, they're gonna fall in love all over again um, because he remembers but she doesn't um, and with they don't have the troubles to deal with anymore at all so it's just gonna be a nice natural whatever and they leave you with that and it's kinda like thank you thank you for that feel good moment because stuff happened in those last episodes people died main character died um, <laughs> it was pretty crazy um, yeah so I guess we'll close out the vlog here nice and long just because I had so much to talk about I didn't think I mean I slept in pretty good today but uh, stuff happened today so hopefully tomorrow planet smoothie and then the Christmas party at night and I need to be strong and not do anything else um, <laughs> it'll be hard uh, so yeah let's close up the vlog here saying good night so good night everybody and I'll see you tomorrow